Hi, my name is Don John Domenico, and this is my newly completed quarter scale hit and miss gasoline engine. This particular engine is made by the Red Wing Motor Company, which is a division of PM Research Incorporated out of Wellsville, New York. The quarter scale Red Wing engine is modeled after a full size, five horsepower hit and miss engine that was built in 1912. The Red Wing model engine comes as a basic casting kit, which includes 10 cast iron castings nine bronze castings, an assortment of fasteners and specialty items, and a full set of drawings. This was my second casting kit to machine, which is a bit larger than my 6CI steam engine kit that I built in 2010. The larger Red Wing kit required me to invest in larger machines, of which this kit was the first to be machined on. Luckily, my new shop equipment was up to the task, and I was able to machine all of the required parts in-house. The kit took a total of 140 hours to machine over a four-month period. During this time, I took over 1,300 photos and compiled a 31-page article that is free to view online on rcdon.com. To make my Red Wing engine unique, I decided to add a miniature high-tension magneto to the design of the engine. I built the magneto from a kit supplied by the Mini Mag Company of Lingfield, Surrey, England. The Falcon Engineer's Magneto Kit includes all of the hardware, bar stock, and drawings required to make a working Magneto assembly. It took a total of 30 hours to complete the basic Magneto Kit, which produced a very compact and powerful Magneto. I incorporated the miniature Magneto into the base of the Red Wing motor as to not ruin the scale look of the engine. I then powered the Magneto with an additional set of timing gears that will provide exact timing for the ignition spark all of which provide for a self-sufficient ignition system that doesn't rely on battery power. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take you through my startup procedures so we can get this engine running. Uh, one of the first things I like to do is to hit all the lubrication points with a uh, high quality motor oil. And we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull off the caps. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add oil to the grease cups. A couple other places that I like to hit up are the valve stems. I like to put a couple drops in the valve stems uh, and that keeps them moving freely. Uh, one at the top of the valve stem, the rocker arm, top of the push rod, the push rod guides, and I hit the latch out bar and I can hit the shift collar uh, behind the governors and pretty much that's it. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and add some water to the hopper now. Um, I like to use distilled water uh, because uh, normal tap water would have mineral deposits which would eventually end up inside the water hopper as the water evaporates. So I'm just going to fill it up to the top. Okay, the next step is to get the, uh, the engine fueled up. Uh, for that I'll be using Coleman Lantern Fuel mixed with, uh, with two-stroke oil, uh, about a 40 to 1 mix. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, little filler neck in there and start applying the fuel. Okay, it looks like I'm full. Okay, now we're ready to fire her up. I'm just going to go ahead and open my uh, drip lubricator for the cylinder. Open up my uh, fuel valve and give it a flip. Got a little kick out of it there. She's running.
I have built this DC generator platform to test the power output of the Red Wing engine. Currently, the engine will generate 14 volts of DC electricity at 2 amps, which is enough power to eliminate three miniature lamps as seen in this video. If you want to know more about the Red Wing model engine, or how I constructed this model, you can see the entire build article on my website at rcdon.com. Just look under Experimental Projects. Thanks for watching.